Hello, I'm Steve with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. I want to talk to you today about a message about God's image of you. I'm going to kind of dive right into it, some scriptures. I'm going to talk to you a little bit later on. I'm going to keep this video five minutes, but I want to talk to you about some other stuff that the Lord impressed upon me to write. Well, you know, God sees us as a totally different than the world sees us, you know. So I'm going to kind of dive into this message, and then I'm kind of break it down. When God, once you've been born again and accepted Jesus into your heart as your personal Savior, this is how God sees you. He sees himself, because in Genesis, he talks about creating man in his, in his own image. He sees Jesus, that he, he's accepted into your heart, so you become a son of God. Same same authority, same power as Jesus had on this earth, just not to, not to give people eternal life, but all the other powers that he had. And he sees the Holy Spirit, which is him, which is his spirit. So anyhow, I'm going to break it down a little bit here. Bear with me while I find the right, right pages. Sons of God. Okay, how we become sons of God. Part of the image. Behold what manner of First John 3 and 1. Behold what manner of love has the Father bestowed upon us that we should be called the children of God. But as many received him, to them he gave the right to become the children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of, not of the will, not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. That's what it's talking about. That's one of the part of the image of Jesus that God sees us at. Jesus as His Son. We're inherited into a royal priesthood. So anyhow, it's about the Son. So let's talk about let's talk about Jesus. To them, God willing to make known what are the riches of His glory, of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. And if Christ is that's First Col Colossians 1, 27, Romans 8, 10, and 11. And if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies. That is, spirit who dwells in you. Jesus living in us. Jesus dwelling in us talk about the Holy Spirit and then I'm going to kind of break it down. I'm trying to keep this under under five minutes so just bear with me. For there are in whom ye also trusted after ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom ye also believed ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, who is the guarantee of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession to the praise of his glory. Know ye not, that's Ephesians 1.13, 1 Corinthians 3.16 Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and the Spirit of God dwells in you. Luke 14 and 17 For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. It's time for the church to rise up and to realize that we're created in His image, that our image is completely different than the world. I mean, I'm not trying to politicize this, but look at the last election. Destroying everybody's image. Hillary did this. Trump did that. It was all about image. You know, Trump, when he went down to Puerto Rico, threw a few paper towels. I'm not got dis downplaying the president, but, you know, he was trying to portray an image of that he was helping the Puerto Rican people. You know? So it's all about image in this world. But the devil wants to try to steal our image. This is, this is the scripture about how he's trying to steal our image. But if the gospel be hid, it is hidden to those who are lost, and whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of those who do not believe. Least the light of the glorious gospel of, G of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine in them. You know, take a look at some of my other messages. There's some pretty awesome messages on, on, on my YouTube channel. This one's just about how God sees us. It's completely different than the world sees us. He sees himself, Jesus, we're sons of God. Jesus Holy Spirit. So if you want this message, just email me at Steve Youngstrom at Yahoo.com. I'll send it to you in entirety. There's over 20 scriptures that back up what I'm saying. The Lord inspired me to write a book. It's about visions. Look at some of my vision books. Look at the vision after the election. Look at some of the other YouTube 
videos that I got out there. If you want a copy of the book, just email me at steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com. I promise I won't misuse your, your email address if you want it emailed. I promise I won't misuse your mailing address. I won't send you anything but what you request. I'm not going to send you a bunch of junk. I'm not out here to try to take offerings or try to collect any money. It's available on Amazon.com. The book is 12 bucks. I'm just going to give it away. That's what the Lord told me to do. It's not about me or collecting any money. But anyhow, please share this with somebody. If you like it, put a like on it. If you want to comment on it, please comment on it. I need all the comments you can give me. Share it with other people on any social media, Facebook, or whatever you want to share. Help me to get this, gospel, this message out. Christ in you, the hope of glory. How God sees us completely different. We have authority and power over over everything, over en over every enemy in this world. Of course, there, there is a heaven and a hell. There is there is there is God and there is the devil. So, Jesus created this image. God created this image of us. That's how He sees us. So anyhow, thank you. God bless you, and see you soon.